What's up everybody, I hope you're doing alright, this is your friend Red and welcome back to Paragon. Today we've got my first video of the series I'm about to start. This will be tips, builds and guides from Paragon. The first one, the first one that I present you today is about support on the safe lane. So let's check it out. In the very beginning of this video I would like to just take a look on the tips provided by Epic, the ones that you can see in the beginning of every match and just let's take a quick look what they are advising us to do as a support. So first of all protect your carry, very true. Help your carry control the gold buff, true as well. Harass the enemy offlaner, whoa that couldn't be truer. Create opportunity for your carry and team. Yes, this is basically the point that uh, goes with you for the entire match, not only the start. And start in the li right lane, of course, you're starting usually with your ADC. So this is true as well. It's recommended for heroes who can help teammates and control enemies. Yes, I agree with that 100%. Uh, the heroes that are durable, that could take some damage instead of, uh, instead of their carry and also with some crowd control to harass the offlaner. These are all very true points that we should follow. But I would actually want to start with something else. Playing as a support, you can never be hungry for kills. You have to know that, because your role is to provide the opportunity for, for your teammates and in the beginning for your carry to get kills, to get them fed, to get them grow in power faster than the enemy. So remember, it's not about getting a kill as a support. So if you have an opportunity to leave that killing blow for your teammate, just do it. Of course it may not always be possible because in the heat of the moment you may not notice all the situations that, I ha that are happening on the map. As you can see here I advanced after Kalari under her tower and I struck the killing blow on her whilst I could leave it for Twin Blast because he threw a grenade on her path of escape so he would secure that kill but at the moment I felt like I would not risk letting her go and I just wanted to finish her off. Another very important point is the choice of cards for your support. Remember, of course, you have to think about others, not only about yourself. So in my opinion, there's a, it's a very easy choice. You either take the circuit of health to grant health, health regeneration for you and your allies, or you take a ward to simply secure your lane from ganking. As Epic already pointed out, it's very important to help your carry secure the gold buff, as in the beginning levels they will not be able to do it themselves, so you need to take all the damage. Being a support, always remember about your initial advantage that you have on your safe lane. You will usually be with your carry against one offlaner, so that makes a lot of possibilities to harass them and to get that early kill, which is best left for your carry as it will get them to level up faster and get ahead of the enemy. Also getting rid of the enemy offlaner will provide you with some breathing room and possibility to take down the enemy tower and if you do so you will be able to rotate to other lanes to assist your allies and secure some more kills. Being a support I am always ready to sacrifice myself if it means that my allies will push an objective off or it will be a fair trade for example two enemies for one life of mine I will always take it I will always sacrifice myself because I think it's worth it I prefer to die myself than let my uh, ADC fall behind on CXP so it's simply all about weighing your priorities and of course don't get me wrong I don't mean like get in the middle of the fight when you have no chance of getting out and your team does not achieve anything by that. I just mean try to be aware of what's happening around you and simply try to make the correct decision. So there you have it, this is my way of playing support on Monolith. In general I would say that you simply have to be aware of what's happening around you and simply try to assist your team as best as you can. Don't get into the into tricky situations. You are not a fighter, you are not a carry in this in this role in this role. You simply need to be around and be in the places that teammates need you. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
I hope you find it at least a little bit helpful. I know the support role is not the most exciting one, but I can really tell you that once you get the grip of it, you can really, really have a lot of fun with that. And assisting your teammates in getting kills may be as satisfying as getting them yourself. So thanks again to all of you who are coming back to watch my videos. Don't forget to comment and of course subscribe to the channel. If you would like to see more content from Paragon, I will surely be doing a lot of it uh, with this series and full match gameplays. So don't forget to drop the thumbs up as Narbash already did. Take care, rat out.